good morning guys from our next video here in Kurdistan where we're going to be exploring some of the region up here and in today's video we're going to be heading to a place called Lalish which I'm going to tell you all about later in the video but first we're actually down here right um, about 30 kilometers away from what's the name of the city the or large Iraqi city yes, Mosul uh, Mosul and Bashirpa. okay all right yeah so we're, we're right near the uh, the border here we were just at the monastery if you saw it in the last video guys and if you didn't I'll drop a link in the description below but uh, yeah we're gonna be cruising for about what like an hour and a half to Lalish uh, one hour yes. one hour one hour but before we get to Lalish we're going to show you some more traditional Kurdish food not entirely sure what we're gonna get today but uh, I can bet it's going to be very good because every meal that I've had here in Kurdistan has been so good. So as we say, Bab Roin, which means Yala, which means let's go. One more thing, the squad we have today, same in the last couple videos here. We've got Yad Adventures what's up, up here. Guys? Yeah, what's up? We've got Hi Govind guys. here. Hi guys. And uh, we're going to be cruising up now. So we'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, it looks like we're arriving to Antab. And what type of food is this? Kurdish food. Kurdish food, But yeah. I don't know, he chose. Actually, this uh, Antab, it is the Kurdish city. Here it is, we've got Antab right here. So, hello, hello, how are we doing? Marhaba, salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. So, this is where we get the good stuff. Hey, salam alaikum. All right, so this looks like some good stuff here, yeah? They know me. They know you, yeah? Yeah, you're a local, he brings everyone here. Yeah, this this looks good. We got a nice big table there, yeah? Plenty of space for vlogging over here. Shani Bashi bro. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hello, hello. All right, so we're going to need we're going to need something good here. What do you recommend? What do you what do you usually tell people to order here? Here? Yeah. There is the uh, food specially for this area. Oh. Call it kalia. Kalia. Yeah. So kalia is good. Piece of the meat, yeah. Okay, small meat with the onion, with the tomato. They mix it in the oil. Oh, okay? voila, bro! Delicious. Oh, that's gonna and be also great. Kebab, it's very nice. Bashi. Oh yeah. Oh, everything's coming out now. That was quick. All right. Rooster. Rooster. Yeah. Ah, rooster. Chicken. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's that fresh bread right there. This I got the chicken noodle free. soup. Oh, all for free. All for <laughs> really? This is pretty funny for me because like this is all for free and like normally. It's like the amount of food I would eat. Halia Duwadakam, Bram, Coca Cola, and Zor Spots. Perfect, perfect Zor Spots. Thank you, thank you. So, you guys, that was a successful first order in full Kurdish. What do you think, Yad? Great. Yeah, not bad, bro. You understood it or no? Yeah, yeah. There we go, yeah. We're making good progress here. I'm actually already speaking probably as much Kurdish as I am able to speak Arabic in two months. So I'm learning it much faster here. But I will say like Kurdish is much easier when you hear the words to like remember them. Whereas Arabic, I feel like for me, since there's so many sounds that I'm just not used to, it was much harder for me to remember various words. All right, so where do we even start here? I think we're gonna go ahead and start out with the usual, which is the chicken noodle soup. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is another soup here. What type of soup is this one? That's more lentil soup. Lentil soup, all right. Well, guys, I can tell you we're going to have full bellies after this. I can't believe this is all free. <laughs> that's so confusing. Jeez, how are we going to eat all this, guys? Oh, this is really nice. Oh, the main course is here. Jeez, you got to be fast. All right, whoa, another, it's another hot, one. Hot, hot, hot. That's a hot one, careful. yeah? There's so much food here that I don't even know. Wow, look at this. Look at this, guys. The place is stacked. <laughs> this is this could feed like 30 people, I feel like. But I guess in Kurdistan, this feeds three people. How do you guys not have larger bellies? Because that uh, you got meat, <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, it's back to his roots there. So get, the, get the beans like this. Yeah. And mix it with the rice. Oh. Like oh. And then you put the meat with it. Oh. And then you eat it. All right. Let's give it a taste here, then. You know very well. Mm. Hitting the spot then, yeah? Tastes like mom's cooking. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Oh, wow, this is very good. Some of the uh, the local stuff here. Kalia. Kalia? Alright, I'm going to try a piece of meat directly first. That is nice. That is very nice. Nice and rich in flavor. Juicy. 
banging sandwich there. Look at that. It's pouring out. <laughs> Let's give her a nice little uh, bite speed. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, mm, mm. That, my friends, was a mouthful, but wow, that, that's a nice flavor, especially with the chew of the pan, the, the naan. Zor Spas. Thank you. Wahabis. Zor Wahabis. Oh yeah, guys, that was delicious. So it cost about 33000 which I want to say is like $7 per person. Does that sound about right, bro? 33000 Yeah, seven, right seven a person? Yeah. So to get loaded up with food, guys, I'm going to have what we call a Kurdish belly by the time this trip is over, that's for sure, with the amount of food we're eating. But that was our first meal of the day, to be fair, so... It was one that's going to energize us for the rest of the day and also put us in a short food coma. So we're in the Sheikh. You said it's the Shehan town? Shehan. Shehan? Yeah, Shehan town. town. So most of them, they are Yazidi, but also there are Muslim uh, people they living here. Okay. And it's a pretty big town then. Yeah. Pulling up on something. Seems like there's a big fire in the distance. Salam alaikum. Are you not on the scene of Jore? Our Jesh there? Oh, so. Should we come back another day later? Adi, no, 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 it's fine. Go so we can go, but we can go walk. All right, guys, so we just arrived here but apparently they don't like to have journalists in here. So if they see the camera, like we're a tourist, so it's fine. But if they see the camera, they're gonna question us that we're journalists. So I gotta put the camera in the bag till we get in, just so we can skip the hassle of getting questions. But if you do bring a camera, I think you'll still be able to get in. It'll just, it'll just take a lot longer, but um, gonna toss you in. We'll see you once we get past the checkpoints and we'll tell you a little bit more about where we're at. All right guys, we have just made it past the uh, checkpoint. As you can tell, we're all pretty out of breath because it's all uphill the last, like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes up so yeah shows we're a little bit out of shape here but so far it's super cool there's a lot going on because for six days there's a celebration of the religion here can you explain a little yes. bit about the religion the Yazidi religion it's the oldest religion in the world yeah literally so living here in this uh, place Lalish so yeah. they believing that God create Adam here wow. in this yeah. uh, place and uh, in this place now we are here the yeah. life starts going on yeah so and it's lively here they yeah they don't believe in any prophet yeah. they say we don't need prophet we are always in the right way oh yeah. wow yeah okay so, so we're, we're arriving here yeah this is like the whole area around here and it's a celebration for six days this week so yeah. it's so busy all october from 6 october until 12 october they have celebration okay like a eid for christian people like the new year the 25 of uh, yeah, yeah. December, right? uh, november yeah. Yeah. yeah and uh, for muslim after the ramadan so uh, the first point we start to explain the Yazidi place, holy place, this rock, the Yazidi people believe it, God created Adam from this rock and yeah. here, right here in this place. So uh, because that they believe in the oldest religion in the world is the Yazidi and mm -hmm. they don't have the holy book and prophet. So this rock and this water, it is very holy for them. They washing his, uh, uh, his face and they drinking they using for this. This is the uh, first so part. Can I, can I wash my hands there? Yes. So now Mike, he wash his hand with the holy water. That's nice and cool too. Yeah. So we're just going to give the holy water nice. a try. Alright, so we're going into the next part of it up here. And, oh, wow, it's a small little doorway right over here. So okay, this is a, second place here. Yeah. We don't allow to go inside. Just the Yazidi people oh, okay. should go inside. We don't allow. Okay. Can we get a little look at it? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Oh, so it's like a little bath? No, this is this water oh, also oh, the like this same, holy, same water, yeah. yeah. They using this uh, room why be for the baptism. How the people became Yazidi, mm -hmm. uh, they should born with the parents Yazidi, mother and father both. Okay, so uh, after born, he have to come here to make a baptism with this water. Seven water. years to do it. Yeah, seven wow. from seven after seven days until seven years. During this time, he have a time to make a baptism. The question: If he don't come in after seven years, right? So they don't uh, care. I'm wrong. So, and once in his life, so maybe in the 40, 
yeah. on the 13th. Okay, just yeah. once. Yes, just right. once do in the, the do yes, yeah. do the uh, baptism. So okay. it's not a rule from seven day until seven years. Mm -hmm. I read in the internet like this this information. Yeah. But now this man he correct for me. He said once in his life. Oh, okay, okay. So that's good. That means uh, Govin's also learning something new today. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, sweet, yes. sweet. Yeah. All right, we're on to our next spot. You're taking After some stairs up. Oh, there's yeah. a little, it just popped out of the window. Is it's that a doorway? Window. This oh. is a tomb. Oh, so a... the Baba Chavish, I will uh, oh, okay. mention for you. Like the priest, oh. we can't go inside, we don't we allow it. Oh, okay. okay, so at first, I was thinking that maybe since it's the celebration week, there was going to be like a lot more tourists here, I just assumed. Um, but actually, Govin just told us that pretty much everyone here, yeah. he says, are actually practicing the religion, and we're the only tourists in this entire place of probably like thousands of people here. So that makes it that much more special, and it also makes sense why we're getting a lot of looks. <laughs> Come across this, which happens to be. Uh, basically Noah's Ark. So you've probably heard that from other religions. And um, Govin's going to be telling us something that makes it a bit unique though, a different belief from others. So the different they believe in Noah, he, uh, she bought whatever, and he put in the, every animal, male and female, inside. The Yazidi people say it. When they go into the sea, and the sheep accident with the big rock, and there is the small wall, hole for the, can you see the hole? Uh, black snake, oh, yeah. uh, Philly, okay? So they say when they, this wall created, okay? And black snake sacrificed himself and he uh, filled the wall. Filled okay? the hole. Filled the hole. So they believing until now, the black snake saves our life. Oh. So the black snake saves the shape, the boat, okay? Yeah. So now we are alive because the uh, black snake, they believing like this. So they never ever killing black snake because oh, okay. it is very holy for them. So yeah. this is the story of the Nua. Yeah, it's really a special time to be here because, hello. 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 It's really a special time to be here because there's just like so much life. Everyone's dressed up nicely like I was saying. And we're about to enter into these uh, temples here. But you got to make sure you uh, watch your step while you're walking through here. Someone did it once before and got themselves in a little bit of trouble. All right, looks like we're coming into a, a little courtyard down here. And uh, a lot more people are, are dressed up. All right, so now we're, we're entering in here. Yep. Hello. Salam alaikum. Oh, it gets a little darker in here. Is there some remodeling going on? And here, uh, the USA consulate, mm -hmm. they decided to giving them five million dollars, seven million dollars to renovate this. Oh, so they like uh, Americans? Yeah, the Americans. So your task come to. Oh, so I'm here building. <laughs> yeah. I'm here building, guys. All right. Well, the good thing is I used to work in yeah, a similar the, industry. So let's get to work. The American. Right, where do I start? Consulate. They renovated this. Uh, Temple. So your uh, task coming to the lavish. So what do we got going on here? Uh, they celebrate. Oh, yeah. all right. This is nice. So now we are Very inside colorful. the temple. Okay. So I yeah. uh, this. Uh, Salam alaikum. So this uh, uh, material they using for the wish. Okay. The people when come here, they uh, making a nant. Nah, nant. Yeah, 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 yeah. So to the wishes became true. Okay, uh, yeah. they, yeah, mm -hmm. Very they, nice. yeah, they putting yeah. the wishes for his mind and they make an end to the wishes become true. All right, so right down here, only Yazidi people can go down there. And so if you're Yazidi and you have a husband or wife and they go down together, they become brother and sister. So they have to go down separate. Pretty crazy. But it looks like it's a uh, candle lit. No idea what's down there. How, how far does that go down? I don't know. I don't have been before. Just oh. Yazidi people oh, okay. should go inside. I don't know what's going on. And they won't tell you? There is the water, Zimzim water. Call Zimzim it. water. Yeah. Oh, and they've got another one over there, so it might connect. Yeah, now we go inside. Yeah. Oh, we can go inside yeah. that one? Because this is a big doorway. No, no, this is, this is not water. This is uh, inside the temple. Oh, good, okay, yeah. Look at the people, how they make a nun to make a wish. Look, look at her. Wow, this is pretty high up in here. All right, so here's the, the first small door that we're able to actually enter through. So, yeah. Oh. So we're in this uh, very old room in the temple here. To explain a little bit, so what he's doing over here is he's got three tries to toss the scarf up. He's got to make it up top. And if he makes it up top, he can make a wish. If he doesn't make it in those three tries, he is 
unable to make the wish. Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, all right. Oh, all right, that's two for two. There we go. Oh, sorry. So this is more wishing, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, everyone's good here. Dude, that's, that's good, that's good. Three tries to get left, I gotta close the eyes and uh, toss it up here. So. Oh, fail. Fail. Take two, take two. Alright, here we go. Fail. 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 Oh, oh, I failed. And these like vases have been here for like four to six thousand years and they look wet, right? But that's actually olive oil. And so what I'm also like walking on right now, because you're in a temple, you can't wear your shoes. Like it's squishy. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I mean, <laughs> it's like, it almost feels like a little tarry. But it's crazy. Like these have, Govind was telling me these have never even been moved in like six thousand years. So just imagine how many people have been in this area and uh, and walked around in it. All right, so here we go. We're entering into this. Oh, oh, looks like we got someone else coming through. We're going through, and oh, it's a tiny little hole here. Oh, we got another. We got another passageway. Whoa. We got uh, one thousand. You can come in here and do the wish here. Salam alaikum, bro. Uh, let's take a seat here. Yeah, and then the wife can make a wish. Oh. Right, we just let it burn. There it is. Beautiful little burn here in a nice, quiet, and comfortable wow. area. The wish has been made. Zor <laughs> Spas. So we have made it to the furthest point we can go in here, which, um, as someone that's not practicing the religion, you basically can't pass this point because that's actually a grave right over there that Govind was just sharing with us. But yeah, overall this place is very interesting. I mean, we're basically inside like a, uh, a cave that's been around for so many years, or a temple that's, you know, kind of designed in the cave format, modernized with the lights and everything. But it is just such a, a cool place to be. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. And we're en route back outside. We will see you guys once we get out of here and retrace our steps because you've seen everything we've already saw. And we're back outside of the temple and oh, did we hit Another a dead end? Oh, outside. Govin knows the shortcut. Yeah, shortcut. Yeah, yeah, sweet. So this will get us right around here and... All right, so we're coming back out here. I think that pretty much what concludes our tour through here. Oh, here, this is the oh, Baba Charish. We've got something going on. Yeah. This is our guy. Are we allowed to film? Yeah. Oh, so also the Pope. Oh, the Pope of yeah. Oh. The Pope of, wow. uh, Pope of but All right, so this is a special experience right now. Yeah, for real. All right, so we've got uh, the most important people of this religion are walking up right now. Oh. I can't take a video. Yeah. All right. He's the Pope of the Yazidi religion. So this is a very special experience. We're able to. Uh, they are very busy here. Yeah. yeah. So that was a pretty special experience. We happen to be here on the one out of two times per year there's a celebration and we get to see the holiest person from this religion. So, hello, salam alaikum. All right, now we're, we're going into some uncharted territories here. A lot going on here in every direction. Wow, yeah, I think they're cleaning off the leaves here. All right, all right. Yeah, what's going on here? All right, oh. All right, secret passageway up this way. Oh, good. Bashi, and you? Yeah? Chani Bashi. Or, oh, Govin knows the secret way to get up. Oh, all right. He's a, he's a quick little guy. Whoa, whoa. All right, there he goes. Where is he, where's Govin going? He's taking off on us. <laughs> oh, where's Yad? <laughs> we lost Yad. <laughs> all right, this is the uh, unfortunate part since I don't have shoes on. Gonna destroy the feet, but uh, I trust in Govin. Oh, look at these views up here. Now we go inside. That's the temple, yeah? That's where we're inside? Wow, so that's, that's the outside version of it, guys. Looks much different than the inside, that's for sure. We're getting in that one? No, it may be too late. Ah, okay, yeah. Govind was gonna try and get us in that truck, but it looks like it's not gonna be possible, so. Wahafis. 
All right, let's head out of here then, yeah? All right, look at this. Check out this hairstyle. That That is, look at how tall that thing is. Oh yeah, that looks good. That is Fresh. nice. Fresh haircuts, yeah, Fresh yeah. Hair. So you guys are from uh, Iraq? Iraq, yes. Iraq, yeah. Yes. Salam alaikum. The Ayy Medina? Jai. Jai, Dog. Ah, Dog. Yes. And you're from Shingal? Yeah, perfect. Well, they are foreigners, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Cool part about in here in Iraq or in Kurdistan, there's some like super cool haircuts and uh, yeah, these guys uh, let us come take a couple videos, take a couple photos of them. Massive haircuts that are like this high, so super cool here. All right guys, and that wraps up this vlog. You got a chance to see the oldest religion in the world. I hope you enjoyed that. It was really, really fascinating for me to learn about uh, basically this religion that is been operating for so long and they have some different beliefs. As always, my videos aren't here to promote any religion. It's just simply observing them. So I hope you enjoyed learning about it. And uh, if you like that video, guys, smash that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this all around the world. Oh, Bashi. Shoni Bashi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if you guys want to see more interactions with the locals like that, smash that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video.